Hello, New Life children. Welcome. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Teacher Michelle. And I know the adults are starting to gather again back in our church to praise our holy God. And the children are soon to follow, so I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, today, I'm going to be telling you more about the Bible, another story about Jesus. And I'm going to make two points today. One is that God can do a lot with a little, and also that God will meet you in unexpected places and do miracles for you. Um, you can trust God completely, and you should be praying to him all the time. Our country needs your prayers right now, especially the prayers of children, because Jesus really loved the children. He always said, let the children come on to me. And he wanted the children to pray for the people in the world because there's, there is enemies and we need to pray for them. So today I'm going to jump right into one of my favorite stories, one of my favorite miracles. And that is the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 people. So here's how it starts. Um, Jesus was preaching from village to village, town to town, like here it would be from Mill Valley, maybe up to Santa Rosa. And people were starting to really listen to him because he had a beautiful message of good news. He was telling them, hey, my father in heaven is wonderful. He made you and he will do miracles for you. He, he has counted even the hairs on your head and that you're precious in his sight. So Jesus was preaching this good news message before they only heard what was wrong with them. And now they're hearing what, how much God loves them and what's right with them and, and how that Jesus has come to save them from their sins. So he's preaching this great message. The crowds are growing and growing and soon like he just had to get up on a hill and, and um, there were so many people, there were 5,000, they think even more because they think that was just the men that they were counting. So there were over 5,000 people and he's preaching all day long, just like Caleb does or John or some Rhea, all the different leaders in our church. And But this was an exciting sermon because it was Jesus Christ himself preaching. And so um, anyway, they were preaching, uh, Jesus was preaching and suddenly he realized, oh my goodness, I've been preaching all day and these people are hungry. So he asked his disciple, he said, we need to feed these people. They're hungry. They've been kind and patient. They've been here all day listening to my words and receiving the good news of the gospel. And um, so he asked his disciple, can you help me out here? And this sweet little boy steps forward and he says, well, I can help. I have this lunch I can donate. And he had five loaves of uh, bread and two fish and probably some fruit like this fruit here or maybe something tasty like a fig or a persimmon but it wasn't enough to feed the 5,000 obviously you would probably need like 50 in and out burger stores right there to feed that many people quickly you know and get back to the preaching so um so the disciples were upset. They're like, oh my goodness, we have no money to do this. We don't have the, um, the food. We don't have the supplies to feed this many people. What are we going to do? And they said, Jesus, we don't have money or food to feed 5,000 people. That would take months of planning, at least a month and a lot of money. And we don't have it. It might take a whole year's worth of money just to feed all these people. And Jesus said, well, I've been telling you all day that my father in heaven will will make miracles. So we just have to trust him. He will do the miracle for us. He will provide for us. So he's, he took the bread and the fish of the little boy's lunch, and this was just a little amount, but as he started to break it, it started to multiply and multiply. So every time he reached for a loaf of bread from the basket, there'd be another loaf of bread. And they're passing around these bread and all this fish, and everybody's being satisfied, their hunger's being satisfied. And when they were done, 
they actually had like 12 baskets of extra bread. So it was a miracle that 5,000 people saw right before their eyes. It was eyewitness account. And that means that people actually saw the miracle happening and they were, they were in awe because they knew everyone was listening and they knew what was happening. And right before their eyes, they saw the heavenly father provide for them. And I just want to encourage you today that your prayers are so important to God and he wants to hear from you. And we need your help as adults to pray for our country, to pray for our world, to pray for healing over the sicknesses that are hitting our country. But we are healed by the name of Jesus Christ. And he proved it that day on the hill when he was able to feed the 5,000. So I encourage you to pray, pray for your family, your friends, and even your enemies. We need your prayers, children, and we're asking for them now. So let's go ahead and pray together. Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you hear all our prayers and that you are faithful, Lord. You have never let us down. You have always come through, Lord. And even all of our uh, founding fathers of America, all the people who started America were Bible-carrying believers. So we just thank you, God, that you are a God who watches out for his children, who takes good care of us, who listens to the prayers of children, God, and that you can do a lot with a little. So if we just if we just come before you humbly in prayer, Lord, you hear our prayer and you answer our needs. I just thank you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray the blood of Jesus over us to wash us of our sins. We pray too, Lord, for the Holy Spirit to fall upon us and fill us with love for other people for our friends, for our family, for our enemies. Lord, make it overflow out of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you, kids, and have a happy Sunday. Things are getting better every day. I feel like we're going to see God move in ways that we've never seen before. So keep praying, keep singing to him, keep telling him your needs, and he will answer your prayers. In fact, there's one verse in the Bible that I really love. It's probably my favorite verse in the entire Bible. And that's Psalm 37, 4. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will answer the desires of your heart. And I can tell you, he does that. It, sometimes he answers your prayers right away and sometimes it takes time, but he always answers your prayer. So again, God bless you, God bless your family, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.